this train is for YBR Airport. So here I was just over a year ago on my way to take a flight to Ontario to visit my friends and my family. I hadn't seen them in quite a while and I was just a few months into film school and so I, this was our first two week break. So the first opportunity I had on my first break, I decided to go to Ontario to visit my family. Little did I know that there were so many things that happened this year that would change my life forever. Definitely for the good. It didn't all happen smoothly, but in the end, it was all for the good. So I did end up taking the red eye flight, which at the time sounded great. It was like, yeah, it's going to be nighttime, you can sleep. But it wasn't the easiest to sleep. And so when I got off the plane, it was first thing in the morning. And to be honest, I was pretty tired and a little bit out of it. But regardless, I went and caught the UP Express which takes you from the airport to Union Station. And so yeah, you see there's my ticket and I'm on the UP Express and it's a pretty nice ride. I definitely enjoyed the ride. So here I am, I have arrived at Union Station and this is kind of the first thing you see when you're walking towards the exit of Union Station. This is like the main area. So yeah, so this the sign points towards the Union Station trains and then I saw some art up, an art, exhi art exhibition up um, on my way so I decided to stop and you know, check it out and see some of the beautiful art creations that these artists had made. Quite lovely. So I'm out here getting the fresh air and taking a walk thinking that I'm going to my brother's place and then I realized that I went to his old address and I was just so tired from this red eye that I completely forgot that I went to the wrong address so I had to get back on a bus and then go back to the train station and then take the train to where he actually lives. Yeah, so that's when I realized how tired I actually was when I almost went to his well, I pretty much went to his other address and then from there I had to take transit to his actual address because I was just so tired that I forgot and yeah, that's why I was like, mm, maybe not the red eye.
Tschüss. And so, yeah, I got to spend the weekend with my brother and my nephews. It was so much fun. We went to a Chinese buffet. Um, it's called the Mandarin, if you're familiar with it. They have a lot of locations in Ontario. And then, yeah, the next day was kind of just a chill day. So the boys were just chilling. And then my brother made dinner for us, and it was so good. The chicken was so tasty. The rice was tasty. It was just really good. And then the next day, my brother drove me to the SkyTrain station. So, not the SkyTrain station, I'm thinking about Vancouver. The subway station, because this is Toronto. So yeah, he drove me to the subway station so that I could go to Yorkdale, so that I could catch a ride share to Ottawa. this bathroom because you know how they're always upgrading malls every few years well I hadn't been to this mall in a really long time so the very first time I came to this washroom I was like "Ooh, this is such a nice washroom it was just so bright and clean and yeah I just liked the way it was renovated so you know had to do a little uh, content creation in the washroom you know because it was just some really good lighting and really nice looking so yeah
did show up early so I did have a little bit of time to wait but it wasn't too bad I didn't mind waiting it was nice to be back in the city and nice to kind of just refamiliarize myself but then once we were on the road we were on the road and we were headed to Ottawa this is the ride share that I took and yeah it was it was it was a ride it was a ride and I took that ride Just in time for the sun and summer. Nice refreshing drink. Ah, so good. <laughs> 